Hi guys, <clears throat> here we are. <clears throat> so let's just wait that people just coming back. Okay, hi, how you doing? So today it's uh, Monday and we are ready for car sketch tutorial part 14. So I welcome back to all the people that will be very shortly connected. We already have two people, three, that's good. So today we're gonna do something really interesting we are going to we are going to work on some of uh, the detailed graphics which we talked about few tutorials ago hi prashad good evening to you thank you now we are seven people are starting to come ciao feti i am fine thanks what about you so, as usually, we just wait a little bit so that uh, we get a little bit uh, the right magic number of people connected. And, uh, and then I will just move the camera so that we will start sketching together. So, so how are you? Tell me something. Write to me. Give me your feedback of your weekend. Hi there. Hi Maji, how you doing? Thanks for being there. That's I guess your first time connected with us. Hi Rohit. Marsing. Well, you know guys, if Marsing is there, we could almost start. <laughs> so we are uh, 14 people, no? Yeah, we are 10 people, 10 people. Doing great. Cracked my dad exam for MT. All right. Yeah, Majiri is your first time. That's well. We hope that you're gonna have fun. Honestly, we have fun. Ciao, Andrea. How are you? Come stai? So it was a very good weekend on my side. Very nice. There was the Moto GP Grand Prix from uh, Texas from Austin and that was really nice I mean Marquez was really really fast but uh, our Valentino Rossi, Yannone and Dovizioso also defended themselves quite well uh, let me see, need some tips for studio test can you help? Prashat, explain to me better, what do you mean studio test? get my degree so now I can follow my lessons all right <laughs> that's good hi Mandar hey Mandar Kale how are you last time we met it was in uh, Valenciennes what are you doing tell me how are you what are your views on studying product design as undergrad and then transportation as masters? Dylan, I don't agree. I think that if you want to be a car designer, you go straight to do car design, if you can. Of course, if in your country you don't have uh, the right car design school, you can start from product, but you should work hard on your car sketching, of course, because uh, car design is more complicated than product design. I can assure you that. Prussia is the second round for entering into the institute. Okay. All right, I understand. So you are sort of a midterm, and then you have to, you have to move on uh, to make sure that you can get into the second step, according to your school rules. Okay, we are fourteen. I will tell you what we're gonna do. Sketch the practice cars. Okay, so what we're gonna do today, 
so, some, some people, some of you, asked me to do some uh, detailed sketching for front and rear graphics. So, we will do a little bit of that. And then I was thinking, if you agree, that we could also do some interior sketching. Okay, basic rules to start some interior sketching. Hi, Frick. You know, your name Freak is really nice because in America to freak out <laughs> means to be a little crazy or to or to have fear or something. Oh my god, I'm freaking out! Means that you are scared or something. Alright, so that's what I'm gonna do. So you know what? I'm gonna just prepare my sketching set. This is my of course my my paper, ready some tips on the interior would be very useful. So that, yes, that's what we're going to do, okay? So, for the moment, be patient, a little bit of earthquake. I'm going to put the telephone camera on the right support, okay? I'm going to show you the, this is the support, you see? Let me show you. So, it's like a giraffe, giraffe, okay? So I'm going to do it, all right? And let's hope that it's going to work without any problem. Like the other time that everything falls down. Okay, so I put it. Let it make a little bit stable. I take the old support somewhere else because we don't need it at the moment. Hi Siddharth, welcome back. Yes, a long time ago, it was good to meet you in Valenciennes. I'm good and trust you are doing great. Yes, Mandar, I'm doing fine. I'm having fun with my online followers to make sure that uh, some of my know-how can be shared, just like I used to do when I was in school. Now, there is a cable there. Don't worry, I'm going to take it away. Okay, so now just a little new it. I just want to make sure that I can uh, I can make a better setup so that uh, it's gonna be better for you. Sorry for the earthquake. Okay. Yes, of course I am in Renault. Of course. And where should I go? <laughs> where should I be? Okay. I'm still setting up. You see, now it looks much, much better. Okay. All right, so it looks good now. So I go back with my blue pencil. Of course, I have to make my sharp pencil, unless the quality is not going to be there. So one thing very important is when we do front lights, OK? We have to understand that the front light and the rear light has a depth, okay? It's deep, it's not just flat. So if I make uh, up here just a section, okay? I'm gonna make a little bit darker line so that you understand what I'm talking about. Very simple, very simple shape, okay? Now, if we have this as a section in X, this is a X section, okay? On our front light, send your number, I'll text you after the live session. All right, so 
when we have our front glass, okay, that is there, in the old type of uh, front light, we used to have a light bulb, something like that, with a light bulb here, all right? Well, today, with the new technology, it is different. We can do something that is much flat, flatter, okay? And we have uh, different type of solutions. We have uh, LED, okay? We have LED technology, but we can also have uh, another technology, which is a uh, guide light, okay? All right, guide light. And then, of course, we also have light bulb, which are smaller than yesterday. So we have those three, one, two, and three. Laser lights, yes, yeah, we, we also have that, but le let's come just to those three. So if I have a, a DRL which is done with LED, which can be here and here, What we have here is 15 millimeters of depth. All right? And if we have a guide light, it's even less because a guide light is 10 millimeters. Now, how does it work, a guide light? It's very simple. LED, it's something that is like this, okay? And the total, it's around 12 millimeters. A guide light, guide light, it's something that is only 10, as we said. And the guide light, in reality, it's a transparent tube, okay, like this. That we can, that we can bend, of course, you know, we can do shapes like this, or shapes like that, or shapes like this. And how does it work? You put a very strong lead on one side. So we put the lead source here. Just touching this part. And the light will just travel from point A to point B. And it will just light up. Okay, this is how it's working, how it works. The lead is different here because you put a lead here, okay, the light is done, it goes through this way, and then here you put a surface which is sandblast, okay, so that it becomes very, very uh, even. So you don't see the hot spot, what we call the hot spot. So the best way, for example, if I make a, a shape like this one, you know, and I put the, the hot spot because there will be a lots of lead here, okay? A lot of them, which will be basically every 20, 200 millimeters, 20 millimeters, sorry, you know, like that. 
but not to see those hotspots, the best thing to do is to leave a distance of 12 millimeters from the light source which is here and the reflecting surface which is in the front, this one. So that we do not see the hot spot. Okay, this is just to explain to you how it is the 3D effect in section. So this line here in reality today it can be something like this. And everything becomes very compressed compared to the old light. So once we explain all this, I can imagine, for example, in, in perspective, if I do a, a quick uh, sketch of a front light, which is kind of sexy, okay, in perspective. All right, I'll make my sketch, all right? Of course, when we make a sketch, this part will be just white. Okay, very simple. Also on your renderings, you'll make it white because this one is reflecting the light very strong. And it's a cold light, it's not a warm light. So it's white or almost bluish light, okay? So you can add a little bit of blue, very light, to show that this is a kind of a modern technology. Then we have the inside part, okay? And when we do this, of course, all right, you see, I'm trying to make few sections so that it's a little bit more clear to you how we could make this. This is like a fender, all right. Then I have to go inside and make my graphics for the, the light bulb, because we always will have a light bulb, okay? As we said before, but of new technology. So it's going to be much flatter. For example, BMW. You see, they have those nice lines. Okay, can you see a little bit? Now that this is our, how can I say, our construction in 3D, what's going on? Now we make some shading so that we can give that effect that we do when we do the sketches together, right? So let's go with the chiaroscuro, knowing that this is inside, this is light, okay? And here there will be something like light, because it's getting some reflections. Okay, let's start, okay? So I'll start making my shading, trying not to press too much because I want to build that shading, okay? I just give a little bit of uh, I start to prepare my, my base, okay? Then I know that here it's gonna be darker. Here it's gonna be darker too. This is going to be dark, this is going to be lighter. And 
And of course, underneath here, it's going to be dark because all this is going to be in shadow. Now, I'm going to just play a little bit of shading on our reflecting light on, 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 the, on the lead area, which is this one, okay? Just to create a little bit of shading, okay? And then I'll try to put some reflections on the glass, just to give this effect that there is a glass in front. Okay, so can you see? I'm gonna give a different inclination so that the reflection of the light does not go on the blue. You see, now you can see there is a 3D effect. Now, it's ugly, beautiful, I, I don't care. What is important here is that uh, this could be, you know, a way to make you understand when you do those uh, details and... Uh, Hi Sandeep, no, don't worry, I've, I just started, don't worry. So, this is a way that you can use before you do your uh, 3D effect uh, with your shading. It's very important that you understand what's going on here in your section to understand, you see? So, I'm trying to replicate this by using my first quick X section so that I understand more or less. It's not important to be very sure 100%. This is important to give you an idea, you know, to understand this surface, this one, this one, which is a little bit this one, this one, and this one, you see? Now, if we imagine, I leave it here. You know, if we think when uh, we used to have a different type of uh, of lights, you know, I remember, for example, when we had, uh, when I did, for example, the, the, you know, lights of the of another era. You know, we had this, and then we had this. And then we used to do this. Then we used to replicate the same thing here. And inside was kind of a mirror. because everything was chrome to reflect the light, okay? And everything was just uh, to create contrast, very strong contrast. Everything was chrome inside. And then at the, on the bottom, usually we have used to have some lines, you know, that were also reflecting, reflecting lights. And then we used to have on front, on top, some lines like that.
with our grill in this area. You see the difference? This is, uh, I would say, seven years ago. And this is today. Now, when we do the rear light, it's uh, basically the same thing. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> You're right. You're right, Cedar. So when we... Let me go and check for a, a cleaner paper. Clean paper. So today when we do uh, the, the, the backlight, okay? You know, today we can do some really nice stuff because because you know today we, with the guide light, which is very often used in the back, we can really create some really interesting stuff because we have a really in the, on the back light we have a a very good mix of technology. So, for example, Audi has the lines and those lights that uh, light all together, those can be either LEDs, either guide, guidelines. The Renault, for example, we use uh, on, on top for the light signature. For example, if we have something that does this and then does that, look, look at me. You know, if we do something that is uh, round, you know, something that is round. Then in this case, it's much better think, to think about a guide light. Because the guide light is this light tube that we can just, you know, we can give it a, a nice shape like that. Okay? It has, it's around 10 millimeters, we said. And we can really make a, a sharper corner here and the more around the gentle corner on this side. On the right side. Then everything else is a little bit of 3D. You know, for example, here. For example, this part here, this one, this one can be lead. We can imagine to have really nice lead because this can be orange. This will be very light red. Very light. Light red. Because uh, this will be always on. This will light on only for direction. This means that here, inside, we can have two small light bulbs, okay, all right, which gonna be the stop and uh, the rear uh, fog light, for example. There is a rule that says that we must be around seven, the distance between the two has to be very very well done because they cannot be too close that's a rule so when i do that
Then I just play, I just play with my shading. trying to make it really darker, the area which will be really red, this one. Because as you know, those uh, backlight, they have a part which is like a sherry red. It's a very strong red that is uh, very, very nice. The first one to make this color were the BMW, a few years ago. Now I'm trying to model also, you see? Can you see? Okay, so now we know that here if I make a section here my section would be, oops, sorry, I have to do my, <laughs> I have to redo my, my sharp point. You see, if I make a section, this one, okay, let's make a section like that, okay? This is an Y section. Then I would have something like, uh, So, let's see, I have this, then I have that, then I have this, okay, and then I have my, so here I'm going to put a very, big, this is a nice radius here we have, so we have to do this. Here we have just a small radius. Here we have, you know, the junction between body, which is this one, and our light. And the same thing here. Because, of course, here on top, I still have a little bit of, uh, of body before I go on the hood, which is going to be there, right? And our light, it's all this. So do you get it? Now one thing we can do, we can just give a little bit of uh, feeling of the light bulb in the back, okay? And then we can imagine, for example, to have some lines. You know, on the glass, uh, sometimes uh, people prefer to make uh, those lines that not to show too, because they help not to see what is in the back. So there are some uh, stuff that you can do in terms of graphics. Now we can make this line a little bit thicker so that it really looks like, uh, you know, it's this part, it's coming inside. Now this line here, we can just make it better. Okay, so can you see it? All right, so what do you think so far? Is, is it clear this? Is it clear to you?
All right, so I see that you like what, what we did. Good. So now that we did this, there is one thing important that when we make uh, quick sketches, you know, we are just, uh, I don't know, I'll do something really quick, okay? I don't know what I'm going to do, but uh, just follow me. And this was, those are ideation sketching, okay? Very quick. Then I start working a little bit better to make sure that my proportions are correct. Of course, everything looks a little bit too exaggerated. No problem. It's a quick sketch. We can do it. All right. So, we got this stuff, all right? And now, let's imagine that we are starting to get a little bit more into... A little bit... We go a little bit deeper, okay? So I'm starting to clean up a little bit. I see there are some proportion problems, so I just re-put my, my line so that I am, that I find myself better in managing all this, okay? This is my front grill, let's suppose, okay? And now I have to give a DI. I have to I have to really I really have to do something so that uh, this car looks looks nice. So what 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 can we do? I don't know. For example, so I take this point, I bring on the other side to make sure where it's more or less it's going to be. Because it turns a lot, I think it's going to be really almost invisible on the other side. So we're going to just... You see? It's, we don't see very much. Because if the center line is the, here, this point is there, you see? It's almost uh, no big deal. Then we can imagine that here we have a, a DRL, all right? So when we do something like that, today, what we do? If we think about uh, this design approach, okay, with this type of technology, then in that case, I would say that we won't try, we would like to find something that looks aggressive and sexy, no? So imagine that we do this, just imagine. Okay, so here inside, we can do that. And then, of course, we start working just the 3D there a little bit of reflection very light and our front light is done we don't need to do anything more unless we're gonna destroy it so that's that's all okay I show you more like that you see? All right. Now that we did this, let's start a little bit of with the basic rules 
to make an interior. And to explain that, we have to go back to a very simple rule that we already saw together at the beginning of our sketching tutorials live on, on, on my this channel, okay? Which was how to draw inside a box. And this is uh, our basic rule so that uh, we understand very, very easily what we're really talking about. Then, of course, to make it, <laughs> it's not so easy. But it's very important that your brain understands what you have to do before you do. So, now, if I take this part here, okay, and I do that, then I do this, I have my line that is going to a vanishing point, which is here somewhere, and I have my box, okay, which is almost like that, then from here I go to the vanishing point, from here I go to the vanishing point, which is, of course, in that area, somewhere. So I find myself with a box. Another vanishing point is down here, of course. You see? We have one over there, one here down here, and those are parallel. So those are, are parallel. Because this is the tip up perspective, okay? Vanishing point up, vanishing point down. And vanishing points for the horizontal line, okay, they go to the horizon. So they never converge, they are parallel. So is this clear so far? Write to me yes or no. Okay, so, now that we did this, all right, thank you, Sandeep. You have to imagine that we are sketching a bathtub, okay? Where we take our bath when we go to, the, to our bathroom to, to clean ourselves, to clean our body, or to be with, uh, I don't know, to get some relax with nice hot water, and, uh, and perform. So, let's imagine our bathtub. You know, a bathtub would be like this. Right? It would be like that. Wait, I'll do like that so that maybe you can see well all the lines. Well, what happens if inside that bathtub we put two seats, a dashboard and door panels? Because when we make an interior, <laughs> in reality, we are working inside a bathtub. Because if I see top view, this is our top view, okay? This is our center line. This is our bathtub, okay? 
Then we have a dashboard, door panels, back seat, front seat. You see? So now we have to, we have to put all that stuff inside our perspective. Thank you for what you are and are doing. It really helps a lot. All right, thank you. But please, can you tell me how? What is your name? Because I cannot read your language uh, typeface. I'm sorry. Maybe you are Chinese, Japanese, or Korean. It looks more like Chinese, I guess. Tell me, Ray Ling, Chinese, I think. Ling is Chinese. Okay, Ray, thank you. So now, if I have to put uh, my doors, you know, means that the whole wheels are here. You know? Right? So let's put a little bit of shading so that we can start getting some 3D effect. You see? From Taiwan, all right, Ray. Thank you. So welcome, Ray Ling from Taiwan. I'm glad you are with us. So if the door, it's here, the front door, let's imagine that here we have our door handle and here we have the other one. So this is the back seat. I'll do a little bit. Uh, I don't put too much design. I just want to do something that it, it makes you understand the construction. Then we will do again and we will try to put a, a nice design, right? This is a step that is exactly very similar to the beginning of our uh, exterior design construction. Ciao, baby! Come stai? Io bene. We're doing interior. Facciamo un po' di interni today. Welcome, baby, from Italy. Okay. And of course, we have also our headrest. Always looking at the perspective, okay? Perspective, perspective. Perspective line, perspective lines are very important. Unless what we do, it doesn't look good. All right. Now, this is the back, all right? This is like the 50s. Remember the 50s? <laughs> okay. Now, we have a dashboard, and the dashboard means that we have a windshield, which is here, okay? Can you see the windshield? <laughs> Andre, don't worry. I'm go not going to do the, the 50s. So if we have a dashboard, you know, should be like that. Then here we can have our front seat, which is right in the center. So it's going to be kind of compressed, almost like a side view. But let's try. Let's try to make it. 
it's a little complicated to draw this perspective. Hey, this is to to make sure that we can uh, <laughs> that we can regulate our back seat. Okay, so more or less is the same height of the back. Then we can have our center line of the seat, okay, which is this one. Easy. We got to sit. And now we have to do the other one. So the other one is going to be here. Okay. Quick sketching. Quick, quick sketching. Hey, Marcin, finally at home. Okay. You're so kind, you're so glad to take Okay, good. You know, if you laugh, then in that case you have to pay me. So you better not to laugh. <laughs> Pepe, Kate Dishi, how do you usually present the three-quarter view of the dashboard? We will do this after. First, I'm explaining the concept of putting an interior inside a bathtub, okay? In una vasca da bagno. Because that's, that, that's a bathtub, really. And now that we did this, let's imagine a little bit of our door panel, okay? So this is the part where we have our uh, opening device uh, and all that stuff. Here we have our, how can I say? Our B pillar, okay? All right, and after here in the center, or a little bit uh, almost in the center, we have our armrest, which basically sometimes, most of the times, is here. And then this is the arrangement where we can put stuff like, for example, a bottle of water. Same thing in the back. In the back, we have here our armrest. Okay, I'm trying to be very schematic, okay? I'm not doing very precise, but it's, it's really important that we understand how we place this in. And we are missing something. What are we missing? Anybody can tell me what we are missing. We are missing two important things. Yeah, Sandeep, great. Steering wheel. And then the steering wheel, and we are also missing the instrument panel. Because when you put those two things, 100% it becomes a car. Um, Ray, for the center console, we don't have it on this car, it's a very small car. The center console is going to be down here, you see? It's here. This is a center console, very small, okay? And it's going to be there, like this. This is a center console, very small. Okay, so the steering wheel, if the center line of our front seat, uh, uh, the driver's seat is this one, then it should be here. So that's very important. Many people make uh, many mistakes when they put the steering wheel. The steering wheel is too low, it's too in the back, too much on the side. So the best way to try to judge 
where the hell we have to put this damn steering wheel is take your center line of the front driver seat which is this one okay point it here and then we have a, a line on our dashboard I'm making also correction corrections all right and it's gonna be here so when I put the steering wheel The, the minor axis is here. It is not like the wheels here, that the minor axis, you know, the minor axis goes to the vanishing point when we do our exterior design, all right? No, in this case, it's different. And here, we have our instrument okay it's a little complex now I will do another sketch don't worry okay ciao Andrea have a good time no problem see you next time Okay, so this is basically to explain to you how you can take a, a very simple box shape and you have to construct everything inside. The most important thing is that the relationship between the steering wheel and uh, the front seat is the right one. Look at this distance. It looks like we can really have our legs here and the steering wheel is not on our uh, belly or stomach. Sometimes people put the steering wheel too much here and this is impossible. If you go in your car... Hey, Pepe! <laughs> no, it's not so complicated. So, this is important. Then another important thing is this door panel on the other side that is not too low, but it's around here. You see the proportion? It looks correct. Another thing also is that the distance between the front seat and the beginning of uh, the sitting position of the back bench, it's not too close. Here we have the space to put our legs like that, you know? With our feet under the front seat. You see? And our head here. So those things are important. Like, for example, our arms, our legs here. You see? But now that we did this, let's see the easiest perspectives to make an interior. So, for example, one that is very much used when uh, we see a lot of sketches, interior sketches, uh, I, I, I would say simple interior sketches, is this one. So maybe you can already see our car. With the open door.
with our tri triangle here. All right, center line. Okay. Now I just prepare a little bit Can you start see it? Okay, Fetty, what did you write? Let me see. This session is great. You're, you're teaching us really unique information that we cannot find nowhere else. You know, that's the way I learned at school. <laughs> uh, so I still remember. <laughs> Even if uh, 30 years went by, is there a range between height of the seat and the length of the seat? Uh, yeah, there is, but I, I to be honest, uh, I. I'm not an interior sketcher, okay? I'm, I'm, a, I, 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 how can I say? I was born as a exterior design uh, designer, but I learned how to do interiors, uh, of course, because in life uh, it happened to me to sketch an interior and to have an interior design that has been approved. So, but the ratio perfect, I don't really know. I just, I just do it, uh, you know. This is a seat. If I do this, more or less it's 20 degrees inclination here. You know? I can do something like that. And I know by experience that it's gonna work. So this is the, the, the ratio, you know? Hey, Kevin Price. Ciao, Mr. John. I hope I'm not too late. Oh, uh, you know what? A little bit, yes, but don't worry. Because I can go back uh, to show you something like this, which means that we started to sketch a little bit of interiors, all right? Yeah, see that. It's also according to the car, because if it is a sports car, of course, uh, the seat is different than a normal city car. Uh, ciao, Sergios. Go, Danis. Where are you from, Sergios? Aditya uh, Munde. It looks an uh, uh, open door car. Yes, it is. So, anyway, we did um, for our Kevin. Uh, yeah, we did some back and front uh, graphics. You see, I explained here a little bit uh, technology to understand how we can sketch trying to represent the right technologies in terms of lighting, okay? And I was making a comparison between yesterday and today, okay? So that here you can see the differences between the two. Atene, all right, we are people from Greece. Ciao, Sergios, from Greece. Okay, so after we did this, we start, we start talking about the interiors, okay? And I was talking about this box that I can show you here. And we were talking about uh, bathtub, okay? And this is the bathtub. It's like uh, the bathroom. We put inside ourselves here, we put inside seats, dashboard, a small center console, door panels, and the rear bench. And this just to show how we can construct, you know, very simple city car, small car, an interior, but very schematic, okay? This is a very simple outline. And then after that, we start now, I take this away because uh, we are starting to sketch an open car. You look, okay. An open car with the door open, because we will, what we want to do, we want to sketch inside here and show you one of those uh, most used uh, perspectives for interiors, okay? So now I'm constructing my, li my, lying, uh, my line guides, my outline, so that I understand more or less where I am, okay? Then here, of course, we have a, a shadow, 
Okay. And this is a sort of a door panel. And when I'm doing the door panel, after I will put a section so that I can imagine how my door panel is. And of course, if this is my door panels, my door panel, on the other side, I also have a door panel, okay? And this time the door is closed. Okay, so basically this is what we are doing now. Let's see what Sandeep is writing. Sir, next to her, can you please show how to put any car idea in mind on paper? From ideation to final car sketch. Eh, uh, Sandeep, we did this in the last two uh, tutorials, part 12 and part 13. If you go and check after this tutorial, okay? You go and check the other videos that are on this channel, which are uh, number 12 and number 13, that's exactly what we did. Maybe you were not there. Maybe I missed, yeah. But don't worry, you just go back. Just in case next time you're not happy with it, we will do it again, all right? So it's a good way for everybody to, to review it. Okay. So now, if this is uh, our interior and this is our door panel, you know, as we said, we have uh, an area where we have uh, um, our armrest. And then here we have our, you know, speaker is here. So this is our arrangement, front lower arrangement area. Okay, where we can put it, we said that we can put here uh, a bottle of water. All right, that means that here we are, we have our dashboard that is starting here. So if this is the perspective line, okay, this one, and this one is the other one, okay, all right then it's not going to be so difficult to put, to put the other lines that will tell us the body of our dashboard. Why is your sketching on Cintiq more difficult than paper? Tips to draw better in... Alors, Ricardo, Ortega, hombre, escúchame bien, ok? Cuidado, porque voy te dir, <laughs> te decir, oh, I forgot, olvidado todo. It's normal. To sketch well on Cintiq, you must sketch very well on paper first, unless your Photoshop will always look shitty. That's the truth. And uh, to be very capable to sketch with your hands really well will give you all the opportunity to experiment with the other media like digital media and feel good about it because you know how to be, uh, how can I say, in command of your hands because your brain knows really well what to do. If you do not do a lot of sketching on paper and you go straight on your Photoshop because you want those flash and lights to look extremely good without knowing the basic rules really well and without having exercised a lot, then I'm sorry. Everything will look so frustrating and so difficult that you're gonna be pissed off for, t for at least a year. So my suggestion to you, Ricardo, caro Ricardo, is just to sketch freehand on paper. And when you think that you got a very good level, then move on your digital, do your digital but after that you really understood how to do it on paper, all right? And this is what I say since several years, because I'm sick and tired to look at Photoshop portfolios that look 
not good. And that's too bad. All right, so now if those are our two lines, those two lines are our guide, right? So we must be between those two lines with the lines that we're gonna draw in this area. So this is our medium line, okay? So look, by magic, we are starting to get the lines of our dashboard. And because the door is open, we can see a little bit, if I take this section, this section, look, You know, when you open the door of your car, you open the door of the car, what are you going to see here? You're going to see a little bit of the part where the dashboard meets the door when the door is closed. And when we have an open door, we always see a little bit of this. Okay, so... Ricardo, see, okay, thanks. I'll use color pencil and then chart park markers then. Yeah, I, I, I really honestly advise you, as I advise to everybody is following me, first learn here, besides it's so nice to sketch on paper, to feel the paper. You know, if you go and check uh, our first tutorials, now we are at P14 today, but if you go back to number one, number two, number three, you check all of them. I don't, I don't want to annoy you, but if you have the curiosity, you will see that uh, there is an incredible pleasure. Incredible pleasure. Even if nothing is super perfect, but the fact of doing it every week, every day, you will see how better you will become. And after one month, your sketching will improve. You will be happy. Psychologically, you will, will be like, uh, you won't do more. And then, of course, you will get tired of this one day because you will be looking for a new media, more interesting, with more uh, flesh and lights, you know. And that's okay. That's okay. And then will be the right time to go and, and discover the other media. All right, so, if this is our dashboard and this is a more or less our center line, then let's put our center console. You know, it's going to be more or less there. You see, it looks, it's not so bad. Now we have an idea of what we're looking at. We are getting to the car. Okay, Pepe, no, no problem. A la prossima, see you in the past broadcast. Yes, all right, no problem. And if you have some questions, you just can make uh, comments on the video once it is uh, saved on the channel. And of course, I go back and forth sometimes to, to check. And I will give you an answer. All right, so now that we have this, we know that here in the center, we have our steering wheel and we have also our instrument panel. You see, now we put a, an instrument panel on at its place. Ciao, Pepe, you too. And of course, here 
in this area, generally in this area here, there is a hole because we have the whole, you know, I sketch it here. We have our steering wheel, okay? And then we have our, what we call in, uh, in Italian, this is a prosciutto, jambon, the ham. This is the ham, <laughs> this one, because of this. Uh, and this is our steering wheel, okay? This is a side view. So we had to put this one here. We need to open up, of course, we need to open up the space. All right. A little bit of our seat. Sir, do you think it's a great idea to go to ACC or other schools even have to lend more money for this letter? Okay, uh, um, I'll tell you, Ray. Uh, wait, wait a moment. Wait a moment. I want just to check one thing. Okay, yes. I went to art center, so I've been there, and I graduated from there. And uh, for me, I mean, for my family, because they paid for me, of course, it has been a real lifetime investment, because today I work, uh, I start working right away after I graduated. And uh, I can tell you that art center is good if you have a good talent, that needs a very good school to amplify that talent with the right courses, with the right teachers, with the right professional uh, method, because that's very important. And everything you see I do, it's because I remember when I was in school. Um, if you do all this well, Art Center is probably the best or one of the best two schools today in the world to become a designer. It is an expensive school, it's true. But you have also lots of sponsored projects. You have also an environment that uh, puts you in mind that you are treated like a young designer. So the teachers are not, te uh, are not treating you like a student. And uh, it's a very, very demanding school. This means that uh, can be very stressy, okay, to be a student art center, but it is a sort of, uh, how can I say, sacrifice that you do for yourself and for your future. So to go to art center is a different thing than going to another school that is also <clears throat> a very good school, but believe me, art center and CCS in Detroit or fourth time school in Germany, those three schools are really, really tough. But if you do well, when you get out, you have a very good chance to get a job. That's for sure. So let's make a little bit of section here, okay? I'm doing a little bit of the body of the car so that we can, uh, you see, nice. 
having fun. I am having fun with you guys today. Look. And we can put also the reflection of the of on the glass. You see? Looks nice. So I need to make sure I'm good first, then consider about it. You, you know, you need to make sure that your uh, the quality, the level. Hi, Polo. The quality, the quality of your level today, it's a good one to be accepted from Art Center. So one thing you can do. Uh, that's what I did when I. I I tried Art Center the first time. You can some sketches to them, and then you ask them to evaluate and see if uh, uh, they encourage you uh, to apply to the school. If they do, that means that your level is already not bad at all. You understand? You must do some try some check. Or if you want, you can send me a PDF of your work. On my on my email or messenger, I don't know. Are you on Facebook? Because if you're on Facebook, you can find me on Facebook uh, or on uh, Instagram, and then um, in chat you can send me your PDF, and I I look at them. I can give you feedback and tell you what is your level. No problem. With pleasure. All right, so. So now let's make a little bit of shading because there are a lot of stuff that are really in shadow. Here, for example. And also on the other side, also on the other side. To put those shadows, shadows, it's important because it gives us an idea of the of the depth depth that we have. And the, the, the interior come, it's like coming to life, you know. Look, now we are starting to see it. Before we had a bunch of lines, it was a little bit uh, complicated. Uh, Ricardo, uh, do you do fine art and exhibit in museum? No, 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 I don't. But I do some uh, paintings. I like to do acrylic and oil paintings. Thank you, Marcin. Okay, good. I will show you. After I did this, I will show you some of my paintings, okay? But why do I do paintings? Very simple, because I used to do paint when I was when I was uh, 15 years old. Okay, when I was 15 years old, I, I used to oil to do some oil paint because I had my grandmother that used to paint a lot and very well. So I took that, uh, I think, that artistic vein from her. All right, at the same time, I'm trying to, to give a little bit of, uh, you know, some section on the door panel. You know, the door panel, we, here we have the space where we put our bottle. Everybody is always asking, put the bottle here. So we have to think about that. Unless people cannot drink because of us. 
That means we are not good designers. But we're gonna give them the space for their bottle. Of course. Sometimes I'm so tired of putting bottles in, in car in, in carrying tears. It looks like it's the most important thing. Yeah, but there is also the design, not just the bottle. But anyway. Alright. So here we we have it. Alright. And uh, I would say that uh, we can uh, have this here. You see, I'm trying to reproduce a little bit on the other side. Not super well. It's just to give some. Uh, it's just to give some uh, relation between this part and this part. All right. There's still a few things to do. Bubble teas, yeah. Bottle holders, yeah. They're very important in Taiwan. I know, I know, I know. That's why we're doing a lot because we had to work for China, for Brazil, uh, India. So automatically, we know all this from all those countries. Okay, so now that we did this, here we have, of course, we can imagine on this side we put a like an arrangement area, okay? Imagine that here we have arrangement and this is our, you know, our arrangement in front of the passenger that is opening going down well today we can do lots of different things of course i had to do some basics design with you huh? i cannot do something too too creative you have to put the creativity you have to do that not me All right, so what, what else? Okay, we can put here the, the, the how can we call it, this, uh, the device to open the door, okay? You see, it's there, so it's going to be around here too. And a little bit of shading on the seat, the mechanical part, so that we can complete our... Now, some lines I'm going to make them a little bit darker and thicker, because those are lines where I can put, I can grab objects. So, those outlines in, in the empty space are those we, they, we make a little bit harder and thicker, you see? So we get the feeling that we can really get inside. You know, it's just a sketch. Eh? Even if it's a little messy, it's not a big deal. There's a lots of energy. And that's nice. Shadow, cast shadow of the car on the ground. All right, of course, when I do the cast shadow, dark, light, dark, light, because we want everything to be dynamic. 
And of course, here I do the same thing as I did here. Those lines, thicker. And this one too. Uh, the angle, honestly, I don't know. I just, uh, I just try, I just do it by looking. You know, let's the steering wheel in general. We don't do it too much. Why? Because it's just a circle. Because so we can see the whole dashboard. But you know what? Today, let's do it. Look. I'm modeling the steering wheel now. Okay, always very quicky, very fast, but there you go. Now we, we see it. Fetty, tell me, company is planning to make more autonomous cars in your future, so I think in here will look very different without steering wheels, it's this, it's it. Uh, <clears throat> you are partially right. Now, here in the back, this is not well done. We have to make the lines a little bit stronger. And this one too. Now it's a little better. Okay. And the bottom here has to be a lot, a lot darker because we really have to show the contrast of the dashboard that is coming out and this is really farther inside. You see, I did also here, I, I, I did it a little bit darker because this is catching the light, but here it's really like uh, farther inside, so it should be all dark, and this is pushing our dashboard outside. Angles and dimensions are all measurement considered by engineers. We are the people who ask them to do stuff like we want. Yeah, in a way, you're right, Prashad, but uh, there is a few things that we have to, of course, uh, we must respect, but it's true. Uh, the way I, at least the way I work, but a lot of colleagues, we we try to understand technically what we can uh, tell our engineers to make sure that they can find an alternative solution according to what we are asking. But it's true there are some compromises, of course, you know. The compromise is important. Uh, without compromise, we don't do anything. I can assure you. Okay, so what is left now? Now we can put a, a stick shift, right? Because we see it a little bit, it's going to be here. So we put just some indication, all right? We are not going to put the every detail or the other thing, but just a little bit. And then here, in the front, we have just arrangement here. We have some cargo area, space. You see? Here, where we can put objects. Okay, so 
I will say. Today is 23. So I hope I hope guys that you that you liked what we did today. Because uh, I think we did something really, really interesting. And the most important thing, it's guys that uh, that we do, uh, that we learn that uh, it's not so complica complicated to take a, a very basic box, you know, uh, and then get inside and construct our dashboard. You're welcome. So remember that to do this, wait just a second. I, I, I will do it this way so that it's uh, much easier. Okay. So we started with this basically. Okay. So we we started from here, you know. We started from here, and we ended up here. Look, Fethi, I'm very happy that you really liked, it, like everybody else. Hi, Noam. Thank you. So wait it. Now I will do something. Just wait, stay there, because I'm going to, let's hope no earthquake, okay? So here we are, again. <laughs> Ciao guys, so what did we do today? A course like Katia, who cares, Aditya? Katia is for engineers, I'm not an engineer, I'm a designer, sorry. So, we started from this schematic line work, okay, according to perspective. And from this, we went to this. And this is important. So, remember, to make sure that you know how to sketch an interior, start sketching inside the box. Put that box in perspective. Put your center line, wait, uh, I'll find another one, like this, we, like we did with this, okay? With this sketch, we learned how we have to take the center line, put our elements inside, starting from this one, okay? All right? And then we make uh, another one, another box in a different perspective, and here the final sketch. Do you remember? We had the, all the lines, perspective lines, and now we don't see them anymore because we just did a very nice uh, monochromatic blue soft pencil sketch, trying to go a little bit more in detail and get exactly what we wanted. All right, ciao Miroslav. Of course, don't worry. This one will be, this video will be saved. This one will be saved, of course, on the channel. All right, so, uh, yes, you have uh, still two minutes for another question. Prashan, tell me. Miroslav, don't worry, you go back and you check it. You check it. How about painting? Paintings. Ah, uh, yeah, you want to see my paintings. Wait, don't move. I'll show you one of my paintings. I'll, it's right in front of me. I'll take it and I'll show it to you. Okay, so that I can show you also what else I do when I'm not skate bars, okay? So, here I am. I will show one that is a kind of traditional, which is this one. And this one, I did it with the spatula, okay? Maybe you can see better like that. And this is acrylic, all right? 
And then I did, a, I did another one which was a, little bit, was a little bit more freestyle. I wanted to use a red, orange, yellow, something really warm like fire. And it is this one. All right. Okay, so I hope. Uh, what about the portfolio? Prashant, there is a, a portfolio video that I made in which I explain exactly how you have to put together your portfolio. So I advise you to go and check all the videos on my channel. And there is one which is called how to start a portfolio, how to make a car design portfolio. Go and check it out. And if you are not happy, you can ask questions next time, which will be Wednesday, next Wednesday. I want to ask you, sir, you do design of Fiat 500 since we are asking questions. Yeah, I did the Fiat 500, the Nuova 500, not the, the latest one. I was not in Fiat at that time. I am. I I did the Seicento, which is in 95, 98, and Marcin knows very well. Yeah, uh, actually Italian, I guess. I saw uh, those, but those are in Spanish or Italy. Uh, sir, can you tell me about Strat Design School? Very good design, very good design. In Bangalore, they just open up, and I think you should... Uh, seriously go and check it out in Bangalore okay check the videos Prashant you will see all the titles you will find one where it's written how to make a, a car design portfolio all right okay ciao guys share this video please share tell your friends yeah this is very good I know because I even thought over there okay ciao guys Share this video, Facebook, tell everybody. We want a lot of people that are making this channel bigger and bigger and bigger. If you are in school, tell your friends, tell your mates, tell them to be here with you, okay? Ciao, grazie, grazie. Wednesday, Wednesday, same time.